Today we're going to install a micro sprinkler system in the little backyard vineyard. This is going to be a pretty easy project and it's going to provide a lot of kind of protection from if we get a really severe drought, which is pretty uncommon on the east coast where I'm at. But the real reason why I'm doing this project is to provide at least some attempt of protection against those really rare late spring frosts. So basically what you can do is run a sprinkler. You generally will start it well before the temperature drops to that freezing point and icicle over these vines in the, in the situation where you get a deep freeze or you can also protect against a frost. And there's a lot of dialing in in terms of flow rates. You want to make sure you're kind of evenly coating those leaves and like I said, knowing when to turn on those sprinklers. So you're really going to want to do a lot of research before you just kind of willy-nilly just throw some, you know, light sprinklers on it. Another thing these little sprinklers are going to give me though too is the ability to do some in irrigation system fertilizing. So a lot of people will spray things like compost tea or kelp or some pretty friendly type foliar things and you can just pump that right into your irrigation system if you've got an overhead irrigation system like this. I'll also mention that if your only goal is irrigation on a vineyard like this, you're probably actually going to want to use little drippers like this. And the reason you're going to do that is you don't necessarily want to wet the leaves unnecessarily because that just means more mildews and things like that that you're going to have to fight. So normally you'll just put a dripper on each vine and then you can selectively wet the root area. The only real disadvantage of that is it's going to be a little bit of a narrower pattern, whereas the micro sprinkler overhead system is going to pretty evenly wet the ground. So what I'm going to need to, to do this project are, of course, some little sprinkler heads. These are a half inch fem or male pipe thread, so I can kind of switch those out here and there to get the exact right flow rate and spray pattern that I want. I'm going to mount those on top of some risers, which I'm just using some 42 inch deck balusters for that treated lumber. I have some half inch irrigation tubing and a handful of fittings, tees, some shutoffs. And you have to use a inline regulator if you're doing something like this. So I'm going to try a 25 PSI. You can go anywhere from about 10 to 30 PSI with these systems and it's going to help with my I can kind of again have a little more ability to dial in my spray distance by swapping regulators. You also want to run an inline filter, so I'm going to be putting one of those on. And I will mention I'm using city water basically for this. If you're going to use something like pond water or something, you're really, really going to want a nice inline filter. So let's go ahead and get started with this project. So I'm just cutting my pieces for my risers right now, making them about 68 inches, which will account for the distance from the bottom wire to the top of the riser. And I went a little bit long so I can dial it in later. And I'm just cutting it with scissors. There's actually tube cutters that you can use for this, but eh, make a pretty good cut. It'll be all right. I'm just sticking my barbed fittings, which have the half inch female thread on them into my half inch riser tubes. I've got these little tubing clamps to secure to the wood posts. I'll just put a link to all this stuff in the video description so you can find the stuff that I'm using if you want to somewhat replicate this system. For starters I'm just going to use the gray sprinkler heads. Each color has a different flow rate and I'm going to kind of be able to dial it in by just swapping sprinkler heads a little bit. I'm 
I'm going to use these little clamps on the barbed fittings. And I don't really know that they're necessary. It doesn't seem like these are going to fly off, but I've got them. So just one little more level of insurance here. Now I'm just mounting the risers to the post. I'm using these Torx headed deck screws basically. I'm gonna put a shutoff valve right here on my vertical line so I can in independently control each sprinkler. At the level of my lowest wire here, I'm going to install these permalock style tees, which you could use a barb as well, but these are more, a little bit more easy to reuse if you wanted to reconfigure or something. On the last post, I put a drain here, so I can kind of flush the system if I want to, or I can drain any water. Since this is the downhill side, I can kind of let any residual water drain out. Got it all zip tied to the bottom line and now I'm just going to hook up my filter, my regulator, and then I need to use a female hose thread to, this is the permalock fitting again, so I can connect to my tubing. And then what I'll also do is put a little inline shutoff valve so I can shut this off so there's no bugs getting into it and stuff. And when I'm not using it, I'll unscrew this stuff here. <laughs> 